Dr. Collins, uh, first off, uh, just give me kind of the rundown of what's going on here today at Heinz Field. Yeah, this is an un unprecedented event um, where, for the first time, an NFL team is, is, is collaborating with us at UPMC Sports Medicine to really share the facts about what we're learning about sports-related concussion. The reality is, is we've never known more about this injury, and we've learned a lot have a lot of advances in terms of treatment and rehabilitation and it's absolutely critical that we get this information to coaches athletic trainers and other professionals about about the most recent facts and knowledge about the injury um, you know coaches are the front line of this injury and educating them uh, on the injury is, is so critical because they play such a strong role in making sure there's an awareness and understanding of the injury and getting kids off the field and making sure that they're managed appropriately if you could give me um uh, so, so, some of the, the overall uh, general facts that are, that are key to, just to pass on here that, that you guys are learning with concussions. We've learned, we actually conducted a recent Harris poll where we found there's a lot of misunderstanding about concussion. Uh, approximately 72% of U.S. adults uh, feel that there's permanent problems following concussion. We barely, we rarely see problems following concussion when it's managed and treated appropriately, and we can get kids back to play very safely. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of... Uh, uh, you know, misinformation about the injury in terms of uh, the symptoms that predict the longest recovery and, and, and who's at risk and who's not. And the fact is, is that there's been tremendous scientific uh, advances in terms of us understanding how to manage and treat this injury and, and getting get kids back to play is, is something we do every day. And we have nearly 20,000 patient visits a year to our program at UPMC. And it's very rare we see kids walk away with problems after they're treated appropriately. What would you say is the, um, I'm the word for it, the biggest misunderstanding, the biggest misconception with concussions? I think one of the biggest misunderstandings currently, and it's changed over time, but the, one of the most biggest, most significant current misunderstandings is that there's going to be permanent long-term problems associated with concussion, when in fact uh, we feel this is a fully treatable injury that we can get kids back to play safely. And, you know, according to the same Harris poll, 25% of U.S. adults would not allow their kids to play co contact sports due to their fear of concussion. Um, I'm a dad of four daughters. If I was a dad of a football player, I'd let them play football. I'd let them play any sport. Uh, it's a wonderful uh, opportunity for kids. And, and I, I, the advances we've made, and it's never been safer to have a concussion right now because we really have an, uh, advanced our knowledge so much in terms of how we can get kids better with the right treatment. Now, when you say that and you talk about that it's, it's a fully treatable um, injury or uh, you keep saying kids is that is that for you know teenagers for kids who are younger and who and uh, you know versus somebody who's in their late 30s or in their 40s playing professional who's had 20 years of it is I mean obviously age has to play a factor correct we actually have found that younger kids are more at risk for longer outcomes from concussion believe it or not and this focus here is 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 on uh, high school sports so I was focusing on children but no we see professional athletes a lot of times that have been through the wars and have had lingering issues with concussion and we're still able to see a lot of significant improvements with the right treatment um, there's, there's so many advances we're starting to learn that there's different types of concussions and there's different treatments for those different types of concussions there's different risk factors that that predict someone that may be more at risk for concussion concussion um, and we've been able to better I, better match treatments to individual symptom profiles to, to get kids better faster but you know no matter if you're a young kid or, or a professional athlete who's having having any issues related to concussion the important thing is get out of play and get to the right clinic so the treatments can occur and, and usually we see very good outcomes from that why uh, like in the last five years why has concussions just become such a headline topic what 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 did it, or what collection of things did it that it's, it's made this such a need to need to talk about uh, topic and, and need to treat topic? Yeah, it's an interesting question. And when I came to UPMC in 2000, the pendulum was here, you know, and it, there wasn't a lot of awareness of the injury, and the pendulum has swung so widely to the other side. The truth is in between. It's it's certainly there's a lot more to it than we thought 15, 20 years ago, and there's a lot more difficulties that we see in kids um, or adults from concussion um, but it's not as bad as it's being made out to be and 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 it, it, you know it's one of those areas in science where there's been so many advances in such a short period of time uh, that getting the right information to the public is 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 key and 
that's what this is event is about. You know, this is a uh, a vision between the Steelers and and UPMC Sports Medicine. Uh, you know, Pittsburgh's kind of ground zero for concussion. There's been more research done here. Um, this, our clinic is the largest in the country. There's been a lot of high profile cases of the injury. For some reason, Pittsburgh has been ground zero for this injury. And I think it's our responsibility um, to share the right information with the coaches. And today we're doing that. I'm excited about it. Yeah, it definitely seems like whether it be movies or media that concussions has almost become um, sensationalized in a way, in an odd way that it, it just it's become such a such a must talk about kind of. Yeah, and that's what we're here to do is to demystify this, um, uh, really uh, address the misconceptions, uh, and and get people to understand that look, we want to treat we want concussion to be treated like any other injury. This is what you have. This is what we're gonna. This is the type of problem you have. This is the rehab we're gonna do. And we're gonna get you better from this and get you back to playing. We're proving that through our research and science and, and our clinical advances to be able to accomplish that.